hello everybody in this video we will just create another part of our truck and uh, I think we have uh, some other uh, sections of the truck so before creating tires and other things we will just focus on the interior so let's add this thing and we want to create the steering wheel alt G alt R and then R X 90 degree and then definitely we will just move this little bit back and for this type of uh, steering wheel what we can do we can actually create a torus so let's go to mesh we can create a torus here for torus dimensions we will just uh, add major segment 14 minor segment 7 and then also we will just uh, need it a thin uh, thinner uh, radius so just move make it like this maybe and we will just place this rx 90 degree click one and now we can scale it a little bit bigger like uh, like this maybe okay and we will just go to edit mode and uh, yeah actually we can create one side of uh, the mirror if we want or we can create the both sides as well so it's up to us to that how we can approach that so let's uh, select this section this section and three four five and this one yeah and extrude it so this we will just extrude it and uh, to x axis and you can see that extrusion will not work if we extrude it to s scale then it work but it will also scale the things okay so that's a better to create some um, uh, uh, mirror I think so okay so let's do that so we'll just move back and uh, now we'll just create a loop here and a loop here okay now we'll just uh, select one we'll just go to wireframe mode we'll select the half and we'll just delete the half sorry not edges we will delete the vertices okay uh, now we'll just go to modifier and we can add a mirror modifier and also we'll just clip it and now in shaded view you can see the same result and if we select now the this section or uh, this section i think and now if we extrude it to x axis you can see that we have this type of result okay so we will just move it like this little bit back we will just extrude it to x axis little bit more and uh, I will just create a loop here to the corner and we will again select this section we will extrude it to x axis a little bit more again extrude it to x axis we will just uh, scale it to x axis as well sorry scale it to y axis z axis actually like this ok and then we can just move it and then we can press s uh, sorry e x and uh, here at this point we will just 
plus s and z axis again and again we will just extrude it to x axis also we can rotate the shape if we want and uh, rotate it to x uh, sorry rotate it to y axis ok and uh, then we can just delete the middle faces we will select the this section the ex uh, external loop and we can just press e x and we will join this section like this ok uh, definitely we can go to modifier and we can add subdivision surface as well to check out the result if you want and uh, you can see that uh, this result is not too impressive and uh, you can see very thin result and that is due to the uh, loops uh, lesser loops ok so what we will do we will just create some loops here in the middle now you will see that it will be quite good ok and here as well ok so now you can see that we have a nice shape and if we go to subdivision surface you can see the better result and we can just right click and uh, in object mode we can right click and we can apply the shade smooth as well for the better result but we need also this uh, button this uh, middle you can see the horn section so for that purpose uh, we will do that but before that I will just select this loop sorry just select this loop ok we will just select it with control no problem ok and uh, then we can just extrude it and scale it something like this ok so it will create this type of effect which is good and now for the middle uh, we will just go uh, we will just uh, select the uh, vertices and we can just select this I think we should create a loop here as well and here as well ok you can see it will give us the better impact and now we can just select this uh, section we can just delete this vertex before that I will create one more section here and now we will select these two vertices and delete these vertices uh, now actually we only want to ok let's delete it from the both sides no problem ok because we need extrusion here but that extrusion we need to the different points so no need for that so we will just select the front vertices delete it and now we will uh, before uh, doing anything special we will just uh, enable the mirror apply the mirror ok so now when mirror is applied now we can select this loop and we will just go to circle it S to scale it and uh, actually this circle is not too big so yeah this is not too big so that's fine so e y e sorry e y again e y again s to scale it e s and then finally F now you can see we have this type of button although this button looks not too smooth so for 
smoothness you can definitely uh, create some multiple loops if you want so here if we create some loops you will see that it will give us the better result okay so it's up to you that how smooth the result you need okay so now you can see it's quite good but this is not very smooth so we can increase these uh, subdivision surface if we want but uh, I will not do that and I am happy with this so no need for that much details okay so now we will move back and from the back section we will just go to edit we will just go to select the middle maybe over this we will select the loop and we will just make it to circle as well and we will just extrude it to y axis and extrude it to y axis y axis again ok that much is fine and now we will just press E S and then F to join the faces here we can add a loop for the sharp edge ok so that's nice we have successfully created our steering wheel we will just add texture for this steering wheel now so we'll just rename it to steering wheel and now we will just add texture we will go to actually on steering wheel we don't need uh, any much uh, texture we will just add the dashboard texture so for that we'll just go to show editing we will just go to create a new material we will just rename it to the uh, steering wheel okay and for this we will just add a simple material which we have created air texture interior texture so we will just drag drop this in blender and then we can just add it here and we can just put the color to the color section okay so now you can see that we have a nice texture for the uh, steering wheel and for steering wheel we can go to materials we can add metallicness to 0.2 and roughness 0.5 is fine okay so the same uh, same thing for the uh, dashboard as well so that's nice we have successfully created steering wheel in next video we will move further